What if I told you that time, as you experience it, is not real? That the ticking of the clock, the progression of events, and even your memories of the past might all be illusions? The idea that time is an illusion isn't just a philosophical thought experiment. It's a concept being seriously explored by physicists and philosophers alike. And if time is not what we think it is, what does that mean for reality? For the universe? And for our lives? Let's dive deep into the mysteries of time and uncover whether time is an objective force that governs the universe or a construct of our own minds. The way we understand time today is largely based on our own perception. We experience time as something that flows, one moment leading into the next, like a river carrying us from the past, through the present, into the future. But the truth is, time might not flow at all. This idea comes from a theory called block universe or eternalism. According to this view, the past, present and future all exist simultaneously, like different locations on a map. Imagine the entire universe as a block of space-time, with every event, every moment in history, and every possible future already existing within that block. You as an observer are moving through this block, experiencing each slice of time one by one, but all those slices exist at once, whether or not you're aware of them. This challenges one of our most fundamental beliefs, that the future hasn't happened yet, and that the past is gone forever. But if time exists all at once, does that mean the future is predetermined? This is where things get even more interesting. In classical physics, time is often seen as a linear, absolute progression, much like how Sir Isaac Newton imagined it. Newton believed that time flowed at a constant rate, independent of the observer. But in the early 20th century, Albert Einstein came along and completely changed how we think about time. Einstein's theory of relativity showed that time is not absolute, it's relative. Time can stretch, shrink and bend depending on factors like speed and gravity. This means that two people can experience time differently, depending on their location and velocity. For example, someone traveling near the speed of light will experience time slower than someone standing still. This is known as time dilation and it has been confirmed through numerous experiments. But if time can stretch and warp, is it truly something fundamental to the universe? Or is it just a product of how we perceive the world around us? Einstein himself once famously said, the distinction between past, present and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. So if time is not absolute and the future might already exist, does this mean that time is an illusion created by our minds? Some neuroscientists believe that our brains construct time as a way to make sense of the world. Just like how our brains create a sense of space, our brains might also create the sense of time to help us navigate reality. There's an interesting phenomenon called chronostasis, where your brain briefly fills in the gaps in your perception of time. If you've ever glanced at a clock and noticed that the second hand seemed to freeze for a moment, that's chronostasis in action. Your brain is actually tricking you into thinking that more time has passed than it really has. This shows that our perception of time is far from perfect. It's something that our brains actively create and manipulate. But beyond our perception, there's also the question of whether time exists at all. One of the biggest challenges in modern physics is reconciling quantum mechanics with general relativity. While relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, quantum mechanics deals with the behavior of particles at the smallest scales and time behaves very differently in these two realms. In quantum mechanics, time is often treated as just another dimension, much like space. But in relativity, time is intimately connected to space, forming what we call space-time. Physicists have struggled to merge these two frameworks into a single unified theory, and the nature of time might hold the key to solving this puzzle. In the search for a theory of everything, some physicists are exploring the idea that time itself might be an emergent property. This means that time could arise from more fundamental, timeless laws of physics. In this view, time is not a basic building block of the universe, 
but something that emerges from the deeper, underlying structure of reality. But if time is emergent, what is it emerging from? Some theories like loop quantum gravity suggest that space-time itself is made up of tiny, discrete units, much like how matter is made of atoms. At the smallest scales, time might not exist in a continuous flow, but rather in discrete chunks or quanta. In this view, the smooth passage of time that we experience might be an illusion created by the averaging of these tiny discrete moments. And if time is emergent, then the distinction between past, present and future might be an illusion as well. But what about free will? If the future already exists in some form, does that mean that all of our choices are predetermined? This question has puzzled philosophers for centuries. If time is just another dimension like space, then the future might be fixed in the same way that distant locations exist, even if we haven't visited them yet. But some interpretations of quantum mechanics offer a different perspective. In the many worlds interpretation, every possible outcome of every decision branches off into a new, parallel universe. This means that for every choice you make, there's another version of you in a parallel universe who made a different choice. In this view, the future is not predetermined because all possible futures exist simultaneously in different branches of the multiverse. But whether or not time is an illusion, it's clear that our understanding of time is far from complete. There's another mind-bending concept known as timeless physics, where the universe exists in a kind of timeless state, and what we perceive as the flow of time is just the way we experience it. In this view, all of reality exists in a single eternal moment, and our perception of time is like watching a movie frame by frame. This idea has been explored by physicists like Julian Barber, who argues that time is not a fundamental part of the universe, but rather a convenient way for us to understand change. In Barber's view, the universe is a collection of nows or snapshots of moments, and the flow of time is just an illusion created by our brains as we move from one snapshot to the next. But what does this mean for our lives? If time is an illusion, how should we live? Some people find comfort in the idea that time is not real, because it suggests that the past, present and future are all equally real. This means that your memories of the past are not just fleeting moments, they still exist, and in some sense you can never truly lose them. Others find the idea that time is an illusion unsettling, because it challenges our sense of control over our lives and the world around us. But whether time is an illusion or not, one thing is clear, time remains one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. And as we continue to explore the nature of reality, we may one day discover the true nature of time and its role in the cosmos. But until then, time continues to captivate, confound and challenge our understanding of the world. So, is time an illusion? The answer might be more complex and more fascinating than we ever imagined. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mysteries of time. Be sure to subscribe for more explorations into the universe, reality, and the strange concepts that challenge everything we think we know. Until next time, stay curious, keep questioning, and never stop exploring the wonders of the cosmos.